what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so i don't have anything official that i'll be talking about but this is just a rumor that has been building and brewing and several articles now have been written by we watched a movie and i believe horror movie zone has covered it too uh because i was like the I was the individual that brought it to their attentions. Someone in the Facebook group, uh, a group that I've always told you guys to join, uh, I'll leave another link to it down in the comment section. Someone in that Facebook group, a member of that group, shout out to you. Uh, they did post an image that looks like it shares some similar formatting for the Production Weekly website. Now, the Production Weekly website is where you can find some news on upcoming productions. That's the website I went to to find a lot of news regarding A Quiet Place 2, regarding uh, Jordan Peele's Us, uh, finding news on production new details and information on Halloween 2018 and Halloween Kills. This website gives you all those details. Now, the format of this post of this image that they posted is very similar to how things would be listed on Production Weekly for upcoming film productions. And if you actually go onto the Production Weekly website, you'll actually see uh, images, or if you search on the website, you'll see, and you type in Screen 5, you'll see that Screen 5 does come up in some of the listings. It, it'll get highlighted in, in yellow as one of the things that the, the post talks about. Now, Production Weekly has changed a bit since the last time I really looked on there. You now have to pay to actually see the full details. So again, this could be fake. In fact, uh, a user on Twitter uh, responsible for the Stab Films, the Stab Movie Fan Film account, pointed out that the emails associated with this image are, are no longer in effect and the person who is linked to these emails doesn't even work for spyglass media anymore but anyway on production weekly there's a listing for screen five and it does mention our three main returning stars nev campbell david arquette and courtney cox so it does seem like based off of that a lot of people are now under the impression that courtney cox will be returning to reprise her role as gail weathers in screen five now i wanted to talk about that because what i also want people to be aware of is Courtney Cox herself returning as Gail Weathers would be nice and it would be the final puzzle piece missing from our main trio of characters that we all know and love and like to see in every screen movie. However, do keep in mind, even if she is not announced in the official announcement, Production Weekly having this listed here doesn't necessarily mean that she wasn't casted at one point or another. It doesn't mean that she was in fact casted, but also not that there was ever any interest to bring her on board. If we do come to find out that Courtney Cox isn't actually being brought on for Screen 5 to return with David Arquette and Nev Campbell, that doesn't mean that she wasn't casted at one point or another. She very well could have been casted, and then down the road, we'll find out that she, for whatever reason, maybe due to the pandemic or something else going on in her life, maybe something with friends. I know there's some type of reunion plan for that. Something or some other type of obligation came up where she couldn't participate in Screen 5. And the reason I'm bringing that up is because keep in mind, Matthew Lillard's character, not that Matthew Lillard himself ever stated that he was once casted for Scream 3, but the role of Stu, the character of Stu Mocker was intended to be a part of Scream Scream uh, 3. We all know that he was supposed to be our original killer. He was supposed to be pulling plugs from behind bars. He was supposed to have been revealed to have been alive this whole time. But I want to bring that up just to bring some attention to what I'm trying to get across. If Courtney Cox doesn't actually show up in Scream 5, don't think that that means that the filmmakers never had any intention of bringing her back. I very much do believe that she did. They did have intentions of bringing her back if she isn't brought back already. If this listing here that's from Production Weekly, it looks like, is in fact fake, uh, that doesn't mean that she wasn't at one point or another going to be considered to participate in Screen 5. It doesn't mean that at all. It just means that things fell through the cracks and she won't be joining and participating in a project that has to keep going, unfortunately, without her. It'd be the first Screen movie without Gail Weathers, without Courtney Cox, but just because she doesn't appear, don't instantly assume that the filmmakers didn't have any intention to bring her on board. I honestly believe they had every intention of bringing on our three original stars while telling a new fresh story, and they wanted all three of them to be a part of it. If Nev, if Nev Campbell and David Arquette are the only ones that we get, doesn't mean that Courtney was never considered. It just means that Courtney, for whatever personal reason or another, uh, she could not participate. And another thing about this listing, if you want to actually see this image, just join the Facebook group, and you'll see all these details. Because I, I don't, 
unfortunately want to share it here just for the simple fact that i i do have some type of lingering in my mind that this video could get removed if i do share it but whatever <laughs> anyway this image that looks like again it's from production weekly it does list spyglass media group and it says that screen five will actually have a working title of parkside alpha um i believe that's the working title that i'm seeing here and it does mention that the status for it would be sometime in mid october of 2020 again this could be fake fabricated because again the emails that are on here are no are from people who are no longer associated with the company apparently but the fact that there's all this detail and it's formatted the same way production weekly list things i'm gonna say that this listing is real but again it could be fake it could be real it could be fake but unless you're willing to make that extra step and pay the fee to find out don't just write it off completely it just it just might be a simple case where someone took something that was real and they made some corrections to it yes to mess with us maybe courtney cox isn't the one that's listed there maybe it's something better to a lot of people's opinion maybe it's hayden pantier that's listed there alongside the names of nev campbell and david arquette this says though that it's nev campbell david arquette and courtney cox in the cast it does mention all the production companies that we've been told will be participating project x entertainment radio silence production lantern entertainment outer banks entertainment paramount pictures is listed here at the bottom of it as well and this seems like it was dated may 21st of 2020 which was around the time we started finding out that david arquette would be returning and then also the fact that it's dated back to may that's very interesting and telling because we didn't find out about paramount until last month in june mid-june sometime uh so that tells us that this if this is real things with paramount have already been set in stone or planned and that most of this information if the paramount information came out to be true if this image here from production weekly is in fact real if paramount pictures being listed here from a thing that was dated back in may for some paramount news that we got in mid-june for screen five if that turned out to be true who knows what we can end up finding out about courtney cox and her involvement with screen five because again my honest opinion at this point with everything going on in the pandemic seeming like it's just going to be here for a while because no one wants to cooperate with what's being asked of them and i can understand to a degree it's very it's inconveniencing a lot of people uh and i do know yes the inconvenience is better than death but some of the measures we've taken in my honest opinion have been a little bit extreme but getting back to the topic with everything going on it's very obvious that a lot of film film productions and a lot of companies and these studios don't want to do any rash decisions and then just have everything fall through the cracks and then let's say this mid-october thing that's listed here is as if that's when screen five is looking to film in mid-october you don't want to come out and have all of this information shared and hype all this up and then come mid-october north carolina wilmington north carolina is no longer going to be able to be the home for screen five to get filmed screen five is going to have to relocate to another location that's going to be willing to allow production to start on the movie because I, I believe at some point if wilmington north carolina won't let this production start screen five could relocate to another state that's very much a possibility it's also a possibility that when this movie does actually get shot that it'll be halted at some point due to the pandemic i hope it's not uh we could end up in the same situation where we are with all these other productions where they're starting and stopping because i feel like that's going to be a thing that hopefully does not plague screen five but it's always a chance because jurassic world 3 they just went back into production and on the first day they had several positive cases for this outbreak and that was very disheartening for everyone who's looking forward to all these productions to get back underway because we want these movies to come out and meet their release dates but i just wanted to talk about courtney cox and how it seems that she is going to be announced at some point to be on board with screen five another interesting thing here of course is uh hayden pantier is not listed here it just lists the main trio of characters and being that this is the Scream franchise, that might just be out of out of uh, pure coincidence. And just for the sake of, of course, you're going to list the three biggest stars from the franchise. It's, you're not going to list Hayden Pantier, Nev Campbell, and Courtney Cox. You're going to list the three main stars that most people are familiar with and the things that are associated with the franchise. And that's Nev Campbell, David Arquette, and Courtney Cox. But hopefully hayden pantier comes back hopefully this information here is true again it looks like it's planning to film in mid-october courtney cox looks like she will be on board with an announcement pending of course there's a casting director listed here uh that's also on the imd page 
IMDb page, but again, IMDb can be edited by anybody. <laughs> but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below about Courtney Cox possibly being on board officially, but yet to be announced. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.